on the 11th of March, after months and months and months, maybe even years of debating what I should do, I made a huge decision. And I posted this post on Instagram. It's time to pause. Deets in the caption. And the caption... It's time to pause. It's not farewell forever, but it is time for an extended break. My word for 2024 is home, and that's where my undivided attention lies right now. Is where I'm needed. Hand on heart, I've gone over this decision a few hundred million times, and I always arrive back at this point. And truly, HDDC also needs me to make some changes too. I'm going to take a step back and use this pause to declutter, deep clean and seriously dive into learning and living. Rearrange the house, keep making tox free swaps, improve my sleep, get my eyes tested and sort out overdue medical appointments, habit stacking, lifestyle changes I guess, with heaps of life transitions taking place. Pruning and blooming, so many things. And amongst that, there are changes I want to make for HGDC, a shift that I've been resisting for too long now, and I've seriously considered shutting up shop forever, but the heartbreak, oh, the heartbreak, crochet is a compulsion, this is my forever job, just like being a mama, so I'm taking a real breather and making those changes, products, patterns, and so many things. I'm not going to put a return date for now. I'm not sure whether it'll be a month or a few or more. It's not farewell full stop for HDDC, only bye for now. I'm going to miss your team. And I cried my eyes out when I posted that because like such a tiny thing, but also just monumental at the same time. As I said, I've been going around and around and around in my head for so long, like what I should do, what direction should I take HGEC in? Is it better off as a hobby or can I make it into my forever job? What is it that my family needs from me? How do I fit all of the things into the day? And oh, so, so much, so, so much. And so I made the decision to in effect take a break and that was like over six weeks ago now coming up for almost eight weeks and in that time I've already I'm already so so glad I took the break and I've already come to so many realizations and I've already made so so many changes but I'm going to share all of them in another video this video is to let you know that although I made the decision to take a break, it's actually morphed into a social media break of sorts and it's been exactly what I needed. It's really helped me just to step back from everything and to really, really like be really open and honest with myself, with Brad and just what is it that we want? What do we want from our life, our lifestyle? What do we want our future to look like? Like we've been making huge, huge changes. And it's crazy because all those huge changes have been all of these tiny little steps. But I'm starting to see that all the tiny little steps is what adds up to the big, big picture and the big results. One, two, three, four, five, ten, twenty years from now. And I don't want to get to 20 years from now and look back and think if only I'd just started or if only I'd tried. So yeah. I've been taking a pause. One thing's for sure is I can't not crochet. So I have still been crocheting. I have been really working on the yarn room. Trans transforming it from like a desk situation to a comfy room one thing that i have realized is that i was trying to drag hgdc into 2024 without giving it the changes that it deserved and that it needed i was trying to like drag the old model so og hgdc 
from 2019 to 2021 when I went full time on it I was trying to drag that model into 2024 with me and no wonder it felt heavy and it wasn't working because my life is so different now like I'm a mum I'm a stay-at-home mum I have a toddler with me almost 24 7 my time my life my priorities are just different and so HGDC needed to reflect that and I wasn't giving myself that I don't need a desk because I don't spend hours sat at a desk anymore. Like the corporate side of that, I think those days are done. Those days are done. Instead of having a desk, I don't, which I don't particularly need, I've sat down and figured out what it is that I truly need. And so when we, me, I'm making changes to the yarn room to reflect that. And I've also made changes to my collection because overall I don't think my goal is too big but the way I was going about it was overwhelming and again just wasn't fitting into 2024 but I am pleased to say that there is a collection and I've been working so so hard on it and I'm so excited to show you what I've been up to and then we've been working on the garden I and so I'm honestly enjoying being in the garden so, so much. We have taught Teddy how to plant the seeds and how to water the garden. And I am so excited for when he realises that that seed is going to produce strawberries for him and that those flowers are going to be edible and seeing that joy with him. And it's I honestly just love pottering around in the garden with him as well. So, yeah, pruning and blooming. We are making so many changes and you know what? It feels good. Like in the midst of it, it's kind of tough because the house is upside down. I'm not on Instagram. I feel a little bit cut off, but at the same time, it feels so good to be like shaking off dead wood cutting away like what you don't need anymore making space for what i want oh yeah really excited for it and if anybody else out there has a business and you are worrying about like the next step or how to keep up or anything like that then just cut yourself some slack and take a break and truly step back i have spent quite a bit of time literally like just thinking rather than trying to jump in and get loads of action done and get it done now 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 I've been like hang on yeah I'm moving but what direction am I going in so yes I took a pause and that has morphed into a social media break and a reprioritization and lots of decluttering and I'm still in the midst of all of that I don't have a set return date to Instagram however I do have a lot a lot a lot a lot of unedited unseen footage that I've been recording for YouTube over the last 18 months and one of the things that I really want to get done in this pause is to tie up a lot of loose ends from like the last year or so. I want to post a load of these vlogs so you can see a lot of what's been going on. I have a lot to share. I've picked up the camera in some difficult moments, in some joyful moments. There's a lot to share with you. So I'm going to be putting that together in some vlogs to put up here. And then also I have loose ends with my previous collection that like on an admin basis that I want to get sorted out and just a couple of other bits and pieces just so that I feel that that's all done and ticked off and so that I can then truly focus on the next collection and my next lot of plans and the next lot of patterns and all of that stuff and feel excited about it without that guilt slash dread that there are things that still need my attention that I haven't gotten done. There's a lot of work to be done and once I get through that other side of that 
That's gonna be good. <laughs> this is the pause. I'll see you in the next one. Oh, baby. Do you need cuddles? Oh, lots of cuddles. Do you need, kiss Do you need kisses? Yeah. I'm on my way. Again? Did it get you on your tummy? Should we get Teddy again? Yeah. One, two, three. Double whammy! <laughs> Should we do it again? Yeah. What, do his head? Yeah. 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 What do we say? Double whammy. You ready? Double whammy! <laughs> Should we do it again? Okay, Teddy, we're going to say double whammy. You ready? One, two, 